You've beaten me, I. But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold! A glimpse of things to come! sense when the enemy turns up on their bloody doorstep. This is for Alamigo, for Eosia. They die that others may live. War machines. How did they get here so quickly? Stand your ground for the resistance. to run. We're cut off! Rolker grant us the strength to crush our there you are. As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even as we speak. What do we do? This is a massacre! <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Commander. Ill bird. I should have known. This has to end. It has to end now! Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Retreat? 
With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Leverier. Nidhogg's eyes! No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Take back our homeland! Free Alamigo! Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. You say no mortal should wield these eyes? Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. What exactly do you mean to do? Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal. You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power. Oh yes, I know their limitations. Which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the Calamity itself. What? Here? Now? Like hell's you will! An ending! To mark a new beginning! My pain! My longing! You shall have it all! This light, is it? His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do!
There is one thing. What? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. B but that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days! Ah, uh, Alphino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Timtimati, of course! The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Papalimo! I know how that spell works! It is time to leave! Quite right! Quickly now, off you go! The further away, the better! No! If you're staying, then so am I! No, Ida! There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here, not like this! Take her! Please, you have to take her! This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you! Go! I think he means now! I bid thee farewell again, my dear Ida. Now... Let us see how good a student I truly was.
A word, if you would, good sir. This place, it is within the realm of Eorzea. You're an odd-looking fellow, aren't you? Still, <laughs> takes all sorts, I suppose. Uh, this here's Vesper Bay, Thanalan's door to the ocean, as some folk like to call it. Am I to understand from your answer that I have indeed arrived in Eorzea? Eh? Yes, you're in Eorzea. Ah, a plain response at last, and the one I wanted at that. My journey was not without its hardships, and I would sooner travel by land than put to sea again. <laughs> you do not believe that so small a bar could bear me across the ocean? Such timid little sailors. I had but to set my course and set my jaw till I made port. <laughs> Though, it would perhaps have been wise to lay down my oars a moment to sup on more than the spray of brine water. By the trembling of my limbs, I sense a brief repast may be in order. Nay, I will not hearken to the feeble grumblings of an empty belly. Duty comes before all. Man, are you all right? Thou art far indeed from home, friend. Dear friends, pray accept my heartfelt thanks for your efforts in defense of Gridania's borders. I would fain dwell longer on my gratitude for the support of the Alliance, but the situation at Belsar's Wall demands that we forego such pleasantries. According to our most recent intelligence, the cocoon of light that formed in the air above the wall remains undimmed and unbroken. After measuring the cocoon's etheric concentrations, Archon Yishtola has confirmed the presence of a primal entity. <laughs> so we must assume that Ilbert's thrice damned god is indeed trapped within. And what news of the Imperials? They're not like to ignore such a spectacle. Sir, a Galian airship was observed making an approach, but the vessel was destroyed when it drew near. The Empire appears to have made no subsequent attempts to reach the object. The soldiers who witnessed the incident spoke of a lance of light issuing from within the cocoon of an entire warship being reduced to smoking ruin in the space of a moment. Veterans of Cartano, meanwhile, likened the destruction to that wrought by the fiery wrath of Bahamut.
we could face another calamity. So the Primal is awake then? Contained, yes, but for how long? We must destroy it now, lest it break free. Agreed. There is, however, the small matter of how to get close enough to a being that swats warships from the sky as you would a bothersome gnat. Is this truly so complex a puzzle? Or have you no stomach for the obvious solution? What in the hells are you doing here? A pleasure to see you too, Garland. Now, if you'd be so kind as to explain to these good people why you should be begging me for my assistance, that would be most appreciated. Who is this man? Oh, how terrifically rude of me. Nero Tolskeva, former Tribunus of the 14th Legion of the Garlean Empire. These days, however, one might say that I'm something of a free agent. What do you want, Nero? I was getting to that. Although you already know what I'm about to propose, old friend. As you have rather belatedly realized, within that frail binding lurks an entity alike in strength to the great Bahamut, and the only force in existence which might conceivably contend with such a foe is the very creation which captured the Elder Primal in the first place. I speak, of course, of Omega. Omega? That hulk has been gathering dust beneath the plains of Cartanal since the Alagans breathed the last. And none alive knows how to wake it. I'm sorry? Do you understand who it is with whom you have the privilege of speaking? I'm Nero Tolskeva, Master Engineer, the mechanical genius who restored the Ultima weapon to full operational capacity. And as luck would have it, I am graciously offering you the use of my considerable expertise. And what, you just expect us to accept? You're a fool if you think your deeds at the Crystal Tower are enough to win my trust, Nero. Trust? You wound me, Garland. All those years studying side by side at the Academy, sharing both trial and triumph, we were countrymen once, you and I. But sentiment aside, have you a better solution? Or do you mean to send in your vaunted hero there, as you always do, and pray the world is not engulfed in flame? Let us approach the problem in a rational manner. Does not the fact that Omega slumbers in stasis point to the existence of some overriding technology? A means of control? I would ask a question, if I may. Nero, was it not? In the event that we succeeded in using Omega to shackle the Primal in the manner you propose, what then would become of it? Do we not risk repeating the mistakes of the Alagans? Omega is but a tool. How we choose to employ that tool is entirely up to us. Of course, if you would rather leave it buried beneath Cartano while you continue your petty squabbles above, then I suppose that is also your choice. Spare us, Nero. The Seed Seer's concern is a valid one. 
He who controls Omega wields the power of the gods, the very power which led the Alagans to destroy themselves. And does it not fall to we engineers to prevent such misuse? What was your company's proud slogan? Freedom through technology? <laughs> A creed you follow, is it? <sighs> what say you? Do we take this villain at his word? As will I. I don't like it, but then it doesn't look like we have much choice. Would the Council be willing to entrust this matter to a pair of former Imperials? Yes. The task of restoring the Alagan relic will be yours. But the responsibility for its reawakening must remain with the Council. Do we condone this course of action? Aye. It would seem we do. Let the record show that we invest this contingent with the authority to enter Kartanau and take command of Omega. Sid? I appoint you leader of the expedition. Science, I would ask that you assign some few of your number to escort Master Garland and supervise the other one. We should be happy to oblige. The politics of Cardano being what they are, I dare say our neutrality will prove useful in avoiding any unnecessary entanglements. If I am not mistaken, Doma occupies a similarly neutral position. Might we not persuade you to join the expedition, Lady Yugiri? If you suspected any foul play from Nero, you would be welcome to kill him. My blade is yours. Not a moment's hesitation, eh? You'll forgive me if I do not shake your hand. Thank you. 